if you are a junior developer and you're trying to get into the tech industry, you need to watch this video. I'm about to give you a couple of different job positions that will give you that first opportunity you need to get into the tech industry. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You gotta slow it down, girl, you move it too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wanted it asking me. If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me. I came up from the bottom, now look at me now, they mad at me. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com and the Billy Ray Dev channel. Listen, guys, let's get into it. All of these jobs that I'm about to give you guys right now, they're not the most popular ones. They're not the ones that everybody goes and, and shows off and be like, hey, I just got hired as data scientist for Amazon or for Google, whatever, right? Like, it's not one of those job positions, okay? These are positions that will give you your first job. These are positions that not everybody talks about and some people might not even care to apply to them. And that's what makes them golden because you as a junior developer, what you care about is getting that first stamp on your resume that says, yes, I've been doing code. I've been working on websites and web applications. Give me my opportunity. So let's get into it. Okay. The first one we have here is HTML email developer. Now HTML email developers are very important because this is how you get those customized emails on your Gmail account, right? Or maybe on your spam folder, you might see a whole bunch of different transactional emails or, you know, promotional emails talking about, Hey, come to orbits or come to this hotel, you know, hotel.com or whatever it is. Somebody has to build it. Okay. It's just HTML, CSS. You're not really doing much programming. It's just HTML, CSS, but this is a great entry level job for you guys. Okay. The starting salary is around $50,000 all the way to $80,000. And then you could continue going up from there, but at least it's, uh, it's a good start. Okay. So let's talk about the next one, which is webmaster. Now webmaster is a term that used to be used a lot in the industry in the early 2000s okay before there was front-end developer before there was a back-end developer it was just webmaster if you worked on the web okay now a lot of the companies that use this keyword on their title for the job positions is usually like universities it's going to be older institutions okay now what you're going to be doing is html css and javascript you're going to be able to maintain the website whatever website it is okay that's what you're going to be getting paid for uh but at the same time it's a great opportunity for people to get in and you know i think the pay starts from like 50 to 75 thousand dollars which is not bad it's a first job guys so let's go to the next one the next one we have here is content editor so content editor means you're gonna be working on a website for a company it could be peoplesmagazine.com it could be mtv.com it could be cnbc.com it could be one of those big brands right and your job is to maintain their website so usually they have copywriters people who come in and they write the articles or they take care of the products right if it's an e-commerce company uh somebody goes in and writes the the information about product or you know the sizes etc right and you as the content editor your job is to make sure that this thing displays properly on the website now there's going to be times where you're going to have to go in there you know fix things up you know use some html css and javascript but again it's a great entry level job to the tech industry because believe it or not when you go in into this big companies with a brand like like say for example i worked at peoplesmagazine.com that's a big name right it's not the same thing to say well uh, hi i, I want to become a front end engineer at amazon but hey my last job was uber lyft driver like it's, it's it's a whole different ball game when you go in there and you actually show you've been working with corporate america okay now the next one we have right here is shopify developer for those of you guys that don't know what shopify is shopify is literally the number one e-commerce platform in the world period okay what it is is basically a website where anybody can go in and, and build a, a, a website for selling products that's it you guys have seen it you guys have seen guys pop up on your ads talking about hey guys uh you want to do drop shipping you want to win a million dollars selling products etc like those are the people that's using shopify now you as a shopify developer you know you're going to be working on the front end when you're building the themes or you're 
uh, maintaining a website for a company, an e-commerce company. I believe Kylie has one of the biggest, uh, you know, Shopify website, Kylie Jenner, right? So there's a lot of people that uses Shopify. So they are hiring now in-house developers to maintain their e-commerce platforms. Okay. Now, again, you could be doing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript mixed with liquid. You need to know how to use APIs, connect to the APIs of uh, Shopify. And sometimes you might need to know even some backing languages in case they want you to create private applications or you know custom applications for their business okay so definitely check it out shopify developers they're getting paid a lot of money i think the entry level for a shopify developer is about eighty thousand dollars and then it just goes up i've seen jobs here in miami where guys are making one hundred eighty thousand dollars just on shopify alone all right so the next one that we have here is PHP developer. Now, why am I bringing up PHP developers into this list? And it's because not a lot of people want to apply to this position. You ask me, I don't know why it's because <laughs> you might say, why aren't developers applying to this positions? Well, there's a lot of different languages out there, you know, like JavaScript, people want to do Node.js. There's Python. People want to work with Django and there's a whole bunch of other things that people want to go and do. And people look down on PHP development, but the truth is that pretty much half of the whole internet about almost 70 percent of the internet is built with php so that tells you that the amount of opportunities is endless there's too many companies that use php all right it doesn't matter if you're doing wordpress if you're doing laravel if you're doing drupal like there's so many opportunities as a php developer and this is not just here in the u.s this is globally okay so the opportunities are there. I believe the starting point for PHP developers starts at $70,000 and then just continue going up. Okay. The more experience that you have, the more money that you're going to make. And again, it's a great language to start with. And from there branch off to other things that maybe you want to do later on. Okay. Don't look down on PHP and say, well, I don't want to touch that. Your first opportunity might just be becoming a PHP developer. It's just web development, guys. It doesn't matter if they give you C Sharp, if they give you C++, if they give you Ruby, if they give you JavaScript, you should be able to build your web applications. This is just a language. Don't be scared to touch it, okay? Um, the next one is front-end developer. Now, front-end development, you guys already probably know what it is. It's just the front end of a website. Okay. Uh, you need to know HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You need to know how to work with APIs. You need to know at least one of the frameworks that are popular react angular view. Now I tell people to start with this position here because there's a lot of small companies that will give you that first opportunity as a front end developer. Now, of course, somebody might say, well, Joe and pop up right there in the comment section and say, well, Joe, I've been applying as a front end developer and I can't get hired. Well, the problem is that you're going for companies that everybody's going for. Okay. You got to start applying to smaller companies that's in your area locally. Okay. People will give you an opportunity. Maybe you won't get paid as much as somebody who's making a hundred thousand, 140,000 in Fang. But at the end of the day it's a job, right? This is where you start. Sometimes, you know, you have to start somewhere. So if you go and apply for a front end developer position in most of the small companies, they will give you a chance and they will give you the opportunity. And at the end of the day, you probably won't even have to do no algorithms or anything like that. It's just more like, here's my projects. This is what I can do. I can start on Monday. Okay. So definitely go check it out. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys like this list, by the way, if you found this to be useful, give this a like, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Show me some love. Okay. I put a lot of time into this and I want to make sure that you guys get to succeed, but definitely go check this out, man. Front end developer, PHP developer, Shopify developer, content editor, webmaster, HTML emails developer. Okay. So definitely go check that out. And matter of fact, go check out the links below. I got a couple of links in there. If you go in there, you could check out my website, codingphase.com. And in codingphase.com, we pretty much teach you everything that you see right here. HTML email developer, front end developer, back end developer, full stack developer, Shopify theme developer, Shopify app developer, entrepreneur developer. And we're also bringing in a bundle for PHP developers, guys who want to focus on just PHP. So 
definitely go check it out guys um links is in the description you get uh 20 percent off 2025 you might even get a 50 percent off okay check the description a couple of links is in there for a reason to give you guys resources all right guys it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com on the billy ray dev channel peace